2006, the demand for oil was 85 million barrels per day. Today, it's about 100 million barrels. And by 2040, according to OPEC, the prediction is for 140 million barrels of oil per day. The demand for oil has not ceased and it continues to increase. Why? Because oil is used everywhere around us, not just in our cars or aeroplanes. Hi, my name is Selvin. I'm from Saxon Oil, the company that democratizes oil assets in the US. Come with me on a journey where I visit Illinois to discover a little bit more about our assets there and the water flooding technology that increases the output of oil. Come for the ride. What you see behind me is the drilling rig that actually digs a hole deep down. These here are set up to go on one of our wells, which is probably going to be about a thousand feet deep, which is very, very shallow. Up to three, four thousand is still considered very shallow. So this thing hammers down these long pipes that you see, thousand feet, two thousand feet, three thousand feet down until it hits pay dirt actual oil then it gushes out of there and then it's stored and then taken next to the refinery it's beautiful <laughs> hi i'm here with larry neely the president of maverick energy here in crawford county four miles away from robinson four or five miles four or five miles away west from robinson. of robinson Hill. right so this is um land uh uh, where you own a lease, yes. where um, your family, so your sons, uh, and you own the oil assets here. Yes, correct. Uh, behind us, we've got where oil actually gets stored and taken away and all that. Ba we call it tank battery. Yes. Right. But in terms of you know the actual land itself, so there are um, pipes running underneath us. There are there's obviously a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. uh, you're pumping water down. Oil is being pushed up and being collected by the six odd. Uh, oil uh, pumps that you've got on, yes, yes. on, on site here. Right. T tell us a little bit about about the sort of history of, of this area, uh, because okay. as I understand it, oil's been here from from 1900s. Is that right? Yeah, right. It was actually discovered in Robinson, Crawford County area, actually Crawford County, right. by a company by the name of Benderman Trees, and it was in 1906 to 1907 is when it was the first initial wells were drilled here. Right. And they drilled actually north of here about. 10 miles on a lease actually that I still own. It's called the Robert L. Athey lease. And they had one of the wells came in like 25 barrels a day, which was just the first discovery well. And so they went ahead and started leasing up ground, ground from this in this whole area. And they stepped up several thousand acres. And then actually uh, they went ahead and started drilling and developing it. And this and again went on into the, to the, about the mid twenties. And then they sold it to at that time, which was Standard Oil Company. J.D. Yeah, Rockefeller's which is, uh, Yeah, Rockefeller's, right. Became the richest right. man in the world at that time. Right, and okay. the, but the, prop, the the two fellows that found this was a fellow by the name of uh, Mike Benderman and Joe Trees. And so they went ahead and sold it to Standard, but that, which is Rockefeller's, but which is now, was Marathon Oil Company, was one of the um, Rockefeller's satellite companies that they had. Is that right? Yeah, it right. was actually called the Ohio Oil Company when right. they bought it. And then Ohio, the Ohio Oil Company built a refinery here where they refine oil. And, and back in the 1920s, they built that refinery. And then as a matter of fact, they're still refining oil here in our community today. And, this, and now it's basically a state-of-the-art refinery when we refine about 250,000 barrels a day. Wow. here in this refinery so Excellent. and what's being grown over ground what, what, what is well this it? this is corn it this is corn. yeah this is corn so you can and make then, oil from corn from above yeah they can they, they, and there's oil underneath that you're getting out right <laughs> yeah we we we, yeah, we we work with the farmers real closely and and uh, so they they plant right next to our wells and and so the it's all environmentally safe and and uh, and it's it's the good utilization of the ground as well Brilliant, so, absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. So, so this well was drilled about uh, five or six years ago. This is the Sack Rider number five well. And the oil 
and water that's produced from that particular well goes to in a pipeline, comes down through here to the ground, right up through the through the firewall, up into the separator, which is the black tall separator. That's we call it a separator or a gun barrel. We call it, and the oil and water goes into this facility and just is separated by gravity. Oil goes to the top, right. water goes to the bottom. Oil goes out to the oil tanks here, right. and then the water goes to the water tanks here, two water tanks. Then what we do is we take the water that yep. we're getting in these wells, and it goes into the suction of an injection pump in that building right behind us, and we can walk this way, and then it's re-injected back down and injected back. So this is the this is just your little this is a little duplex injection pump. The water comes from our water tanks into the suction here, and then it's pressurized to about a thousand psi. Right. And then it goes through high pressure lines to the injection well, it goes into the tubing and down through the into the formation, and then what it does is it pushes the oil and the water out to the other wells. And main, right. what it does is it moves the the material in the reservoir, it pushes it out to the well. It's a pressure and volume scenario. It's 24-7, 365 days a year, continuous process. Right. So, and we produce it, like I said, every day. And so when the oil tanks fill up, what we do is we gauge them every day. We know how much oil's in them. Right. They fill up, and then we call the gauger. They come out, test the quality of the oil, the quantity of the oil, yeah. and then what they do is they put a ring around the tank valve it's a tab right a seal we, they call it and then what they do is they call the trucking company they come out here with a, a, a semi yeah. and they suck the oil out and it goes into the semi truck right and then is then deposited into another tank battery which in turn goes to the refinery right and it may go to this refinery here in Robinson or it may go to any one refinery all throughout the country right so it's once it goes, as the oil goes into the main pipeline, depending upon whatever the buyer does with it at that point, it's beyond our, but it's sold and it's done on a 30 day basis. Every 30 days, we get paid for the revenue that we, the oil that we've produced. Jeez. Yeah. So how many nodding donkeys do you have on site here? Uh, yeah, they're pump, called pumping they're units. Pumps, they call yeah. them, you call them donkeys, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pumping units. And this, there's, uh, let's see, six, Six on this, basically Six. a five, five plus feeding, one. Feeding these oil tanks. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And approximately how how many barrels are we getting here? Do you think? Roughly around twenty to thirty barrels a day. A day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. And it will vary depending upon where over time how much water we put in the reservoir to right. go ahead and push the the oil out. Yes. You know. Yes. So. But the good thing there's a lot of recycling of the water as well. Right. So, so it's right. environmentally safe, friendly, yeah, and, and yes, safe. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And actually, this water here, it is a little salt water, but it's not real heavy salt water. You could actually put it on the ground and it doesn't even kill the weeds. Right. So it's right, not right. like it's a heavily contaminated. Okay. You know. You know. So it's not like it's hazardous waste or anything like that. So it's really good environmentally. It's really good. And, yeah. And so on. And it's all natural. Absolutely. So. Brilliant, thank you. Larry, um, what is this uh, contraption here? Okay, well what this is, good question, it's kind of unusual, but you can see this is a injection well, right. and you can see right here, you can see it on the movie, on the video, but you can actually see it vibrate. It is, Feel it? yep. Okay, Absolutely. so what that is, is when we go ahead and our water and oil go to the separator, and then we put it in the water, the water tanks, Water comes from the, there to the injection pump. Right. There's a pump that injects the water into the high pressure line. That's what this is here. Right. And it's a two inch line, basically fiberglass, that goes into these hoses here and then is injected down into this into the tubing. This is the tubing on the well here. This is your well head. So this goes down so and how, uh, how, how this deep goes? This goes roughly 950 feet. Wow. And at the end of the tubing, there's a packer on it. And what a packer is, it's an element of tool that we put down the hole that's got a rubber grommet on it. Right. And what we do is we J the packer and then lift up on the tubing 
and that expands the pack route against the casing. Right. So what that does is it stops any water from coming up on between the tubing and the and the annulus of the well. Right. And, and so then the water that goes down into the reservoir goes out into the reservoir that we're producing our oil and water from right. and pushes out and goes to all these other wells around us. This is what we consider as a five spot injection well. Right. And typically what that is is a 40 acre tract. The wells are drilled on 10 acre spacings, right. okay, which is measured by 330 feet, 330 feet, puts us in the center of a 10 acre location. Okay. And then our injection well is on a 660 location, right. which is we're basically in the middle of two producing wells, right. which in turn drives the oil to the producing wells. Right. And then the process goes on and on. And it goes 365 days a year, every day. And it makes money every, every day. minute of the day. Yeah, that's right. brilliant. Right. So once the oil comes out of the ground, it needs to be refined. Behind me is Marathon Oils Refinery. It's the largest refinery in Illinois, right here in uh, Crawford County, in Robinson. And this is where the crude stuff that we saw earlier gets refined into things that could be used. Here, we've got oil in those barrels that have been treated, that have come from all over the Midwest. And this is where it ends up, in our cars to help us move around but not just in our cars, because that's not just where oil ends up. Everything in this car, pretty much, has either been touched by petrochemicals, is a derivative of petrochemicals, or is run by petrochemicals, including my sunglasses.